Many in the activist community are anxious about the upcoming trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. They're not only concerned about a heavy law enforcement and military presence on the streets, they're also worried about the amount of money being spent in the name of security. Here's Reg Chapman. Activists say after the death of George Floyd, they were able to hold many successful peaceful protests throughout the summer and fall. <laughs> their plan for the upcoming trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin, further expression of their First Amendment rights. The problem here isn't the community. The problem is law enforcement's response to that community, including the inclusion of soldiers, literally soldiers on our streets. Michelle Gross is part of Communities United Against Police Brutality. She's worried that groups like hers will be met with aggression, similar to what happened last summer, and she's not alone. Several protesters were harmed through the use of excessive force by law enforcement, the use of rubber bullets, as well as tear gas being deployed. Oh. At ACLU, we have an expectation that people's First Amendment rights are protected and are upheld uh, even in, you know, this difficult time. The American Civil Liberties Union is looking to Minneapolis leaders to ensure that expectation is met. We expect that our government officials uh, and that our elected officials would take very serious the protections of people's right to peacefully assemble. Uh, additionally, uh, the right of press to be present uh, and to monitor. There's also concern about the amount of resources being used to contain protesters. Rather than listening to us and acting in a way that is compassionate, what we see is the governor using the power of Minnesota's purse to try to stifle our protests and bring in many more law enforcement officers by creating this permanent $35 million fund. Many feel that money could have been put to better use. Now this is happening in the midst of high rates of joblessness, unemployment, underemployment, a housing crisis in the city of Minneapolis and across the Twin Cities. What these activists hope is all who come to express their First Amendment rights do so in peace and those there to protect and serve do the same. And you had better not have any ideas about putting down that righteous dissent. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Activists tell us that their summer protests were well organized and well attended. They are hoping for the same during the Chauvin trial.